Hey, what's up, guys? It's KCast, and today Simba and I are going to be doing a different kind of video. Yes, I know that everyone's on quarantine or self isolation. Hey, little buddy. On self isolation, pretty much you can't leave your house unless you have to. And unfortunately, where I work is an essential service. Where are you going, Simba? And Simba has left the chat. If I'm not at work, I'm not leaving my house. So I figured let's do a video today. And we're gonna be doing first impressions. So first impression, quarantine edition. Um, I have some products that I've accumulated. Um, and I'm getting Simba hair on me, I'm so sorry. And I would like to try it, maybe even do a wear test. It's not like I'm going anywhere for obvious reasons. But you know, maybe I'll bake something. That sounds like fun, and obviously hanging out with my, my babies, my, my kitties. But yeah, uh, without further ado, most of the products we have today um, are brand spanking new. I haven't even tried them. Some of them uh, I couldn't, f I didn't have lying around um, stuff that I haven't tried, like eyebrows. So eyebrows will be the usual. I believe liquid eyeliner are the same because I don't have anything new to use. I have some new primers and stuff. But yeah, that's a Simba. If you heard that bang, yeah, that's a Simba. Anyways, so without further ado, let's just get started. We are gonna be using a new sponge today. It is Tati recommended. It's the uh, silicone sponge. It's like silicone here and then like feels like a beauty blender on the bottom. Uh, I've already wet, I've already wet it. Um, it feels like there's more water in it, so we'll see how this goes. It's supposed to be like antibacterial and stuff. But first, we're gonna put our hair up because this monstrosity is just too much to put makeup on. Also, I'm wearing PJs because I can't leave my house, so why not? So first, let's just put our hair up. Perfect. <laughs> I look great. So first we have clean hands. I have a primer, prim, had a primer, primer, I haven't tried before. It is the No Pores No More Luminizing Primer by Dr. Brandt. And the foundation we're trying today was highly recommended by a friend of mine who's also a YouTuber. I will put her information down below. And I'm holding it upside down, that's awesome. It's the Cool AF uh, Pretty Vulgar uh, Foundation. Simba, can you stop? Thank you. And some powders that I haven't tried before. I just have like sample sizes of it. It's same with the um, concealer because I've tried all the concealers. So I have like the sample to use. So yeah, we're gonna try and do that first. Let's try the primer. And we got this little bottle here and let's just put a little bit. Okay. And yes, I have acrylic nails on. They were looking really, really rough. So I got them done before getting closed. So this will be an experience because I haven't had acrylic nails in forever. I think it was last year. No, not even last year. Like maybe two years ago I had uh, acrylic nails. I usually get them around like Halloween time. Figured might as well grow out my nails. Yeah, my nails are gonna look hella grown out, but it's okay. I'll just take them off when they start to look a little ratchet. I hope everyone is at home and being safe. And if you're like me and you have to go to work, I hope that you're being safe as well and that you've stocked up on your essentials, not going crazy and buying a crap ton of toilet paper. But I hope everyone's safe and staying home and doing, starting to learn new things. We're at home, you might as well learn to cook or watch those shows you've been meaning to watch, uh, stuff like that. It's a perfect time right now, right? So we are primed, and now let's go into the foundation. And it's really cute. It's got this cute little birdie, and 
kind of see it. My ring light's so bright. Maybe I should shake it up before I start this. Let's try it. two palms. Hopefully this won't soak up as much foundation as like a normal like beauty blender. But hopefully this coloring is good. <laughs> The sponge feels really interesting. I think I put way too much. It's okay. We'll work it out. Holy oh, crap, this thing is very full coverage. Looks good though. We'll see how it wears. What do you think, guys? Perfect match compared to my other foundations. It's a funny sound. This. this will try not to puncture <laughs> this beauty blender with these ridiculous nails. Definitely think this is a full coverage foundation. Let's do some concealer. We're going to be using the Cakeless Concealer from Benefit. So we got number one, number two, number three. I guess let's try number one to see. Usually these brands I find are more like darker than what I need, so we'll see. So yeah, look. This is number one. Is this, is this really good? I don't think I like this concealer, I'll tell you that. But it's going to do for now. I know I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> Got a fluffy big brush. Oh my god, it comes with a little poof. That's so cute. Ooh, and we have a poof. I completely forgot. I bought one of these uh, beauty blender poofs for powder. Let's try this guy out. Oh, he's soft and he's got like some like silicone thing happening. Super cute. So let's just open this powder again. And we're not gonna use this cute little one. We want this one. And Oh my god, there's a seal on it. 20 minutes later. Crisis averted. I got some powder there. This thing's really small. Let's bake a bit, I guess. Because we're gonna need it for the eyeshadow. What are you guys doing for quarantine? Uh, leave a comment down below what you guys have been up to during this time. Do you have to work like myself? Or are, are you told to stay at home? Um, I know I personally would stay at home if I didn't have to leave my house. Um, I'm a little nervous about it, like going into work every day. I'm definitely going to try this foundation with my normal concealer and powder to see how this goes. Contour. If I can get it open. This is from the Beauty Crop. Oh, my light. There we go. It's from a mystery package that I got from FabFitFun. Some of this. So you have some highlights. You got some. You got one blush and you got some uh, bronzers. I don't really bronze, so we're gonna try and use it as a contour. And then of course we got the blush over here as well. For highlight, I'm super excited. So I went to my local Marshalls and I found, wait for it to drum roll, please, the KVD Highlighter Palette for, can you see this? $9. It honestly makes sense. Why it's $9? Um, it's probably worth $9, honestly. But I figured it's 9 bucks. I know she's not relevant anymore, but you know, try the highlight out. I've always wanted to try it. So let's just dip in to this guy over here. Cause he seems like the lightest that isn't a highlight. So now the blush that looks really freaking great. Like flushed. We have green, violet, purple, sapphire, and opal. Let's see. Let's 
swatch. So you can kind of see them over here. So there's the opal, the green, the purple. No, yes. Green, purple, opal, and sapphire, I believe it was. Yeah, sapphire. I don't know, they all look so pretty. The sapphire one. Let's try that one. Beaming. Nice, 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 nice. I think it looks really pretty. For nine dollars. Gorgeous. Now that our base is completely done, let's work on the eyes. So I got a sample of the Anastasia um, lid primer, eye primer. Now let's try not to poke my eye out. That seems more than enough. I've heard mixed messages about this primer, so we'll see if we like it. Maybe I'll be converted and not want to use my primer lotion anymore. Before we continue on, I'm going to quickly do my eyebrows off camera, and we'll be right back. 20 minutes later. Well, we have our eyebrows on, looking large and charge per usual. Now we'll be dipping in to Proof is in the Pudding by Beauty Bakery. I'm really excited to try this. As I said before, it was from A Fab Bit Fun leave in winter and I, there goes the plastic and there it is we're gonna go in to nana pudding over here with a fluffy brush put that all here on the lid i see that it's creasing a bit for the primer not as pigmented as i thought we're gonna go into bread pudding put that there Again, not as pigmented as I would have hoped, but it could be the primer, as I said before. I'm going to go into warm cocoa over here and try and smoke that on our edge. It's a lot of kickback. Lightly dip into, I'm going to try and use as much colors as I can. The mango pudding a little bit up top here will make a difference I'm not sure so now with my finger I'm going to dip into butter scotch kind of put it on lid I think it looks cute this packer looking brush I'm gonna dip into rice pudding here you can put that in the inner corner over here line our eyes and do some mascara. The mascara that I'm using is the Bad Girl Bang by Benefit. It's just one of those mini ones. Just quickly line and mascara off camera and I'm back and I may have a tear in my eye because uh, the mascara decided to uh, get caught on my lashes and I flinched and I got black all under here. I tried to clean it up as much as I could, but I still have a watery eye now. So if you're wondering why that is, that's the reason why. So I believe, I think we have lips left. I think you can also use this as a blush and lip. So I figured I don't have a new lipstick. We might as well try this. I also dusted off the bake that I put on before. I'm gonna try and warming it up on my finger maybe and kind of just dabbing it on to see what happens there. I think it looks really cute. Definitely be doing some check-ins throughout the day to see how this actually lasts on my face. Uh, so far, I like the products. Um, I still think this kind of looks like dirt on me. I do think this foundation actually matches me the best out of all my foundations. So, check back in a little bit later to find out how this survived my day in quarantine doing nothing five hours later with the first impressions so um what i can tell obviously it's wearing away from my nose from pulling my nose um 
is starting to break up in my chin, but that's a normal thing for at least my, all my foundations I've ever had. Uh, it could be the powder that we tried. I think everything else is still holding up. Leave a comment down below your opinion on that. Um, so far at five hours, it's looking pretty good. I don't think I'm a fan of that powder that we used. Yes, I'm wearing a different top for the check-in. I'm filming another video right now that has to do with Harry Potter themed. So yeah, that will be coming, that, that video will be coming after this video. And obviously the stuff on my lips is gone. The um, milk makeup little leap, leap, leap lip and uh, cheek thing. But yeah, um, I would definitely say this is the best looking after five hours, at least even with like the contour. Highlight has kind of dis di dissipated. I can kind of see a little bit of it here. I find it clings more here than it does here on my face. Still on my little nose. I'm gonna check in maybe one more time and uh, see how long this will last. So I'll check in in a few hours. Approximately 10 hours later. We're back at the 10 hour mark. I'm tired. Let's see. Completely gone all here around my nose area. Obviously my wrinkles in my forehead are more pronounced right now. It's thinning out, I would say, um, especially around my nose area and near these lovely face demons I have over here. Chin is completely gone. I would say this foundation, considering it's lasted 10 hours and doesn't look like utter garbage, it's a win. I think the eye primer definitely held the color in. It's okay, I do love my primer potion a little bit better. It doesn't crease as much compared to like this one. It looks like it's creasing. Um, and I know at the beginning of the video, when I put it on, it creased automatically. Uh, concealer sucks. Palette's really pretty. I would say it's more on the sheer side than fully pigmented. Um, that's really good. The lip stuff was gone after the first check-in. The highlighter, it looks like maybe is completely gone. It's fun to do. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little strange. Remember to please, 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 if you can, stay home. And if you can't, like myself, um, at least do what you can when you're at work or if you have to get groceries. But remember, stay safe, wash your goddamn hands, and don't touch your face when you're in public. And yeah, um, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button down below. Also, if you love my face, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell, because if not, you won't know when I'm uploading. Remember, you guys are perfect, and I hope you guys have a great one. Stay safe. Bye.